Hello and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. Today I'm going to be showing you how quickly you can assemble the um, Pringles can with the decorative dome. And for the dome, I, rent, I couldn't find any of the ones that everybody else was using when I decided to try this out. And so I happened to see these while I was at Michael's. And these are plastic wine glasses plastic stemless wine glasses and they come in a package of 20 for $14.99 I, I mistakenly said uh, 24 in some of the groups where you might have seen it and so um, it's actually the, uh, gr um, it comes in a pack of 20 for uh, $14.99 and then I'm using the 1.3 ounce can of Pringles and th this uh, wrap is the full 9.25 inches that I've decorated. I have a co-worker that's leaving, so I'm making her this uh, a bag as a as a um, going away gift. And then uh, I have her name on there, and I just found some roses, purple and, and uh, gold roses, to make as the stand-up instead of putting a person in. So first of all, all you do is you take your two pieces, and I mirrored them so that it would be double-sided. I didn't mirror the name, um, but uh, I was trying to, but it was giving me some difficulty with Cricut, so I didn't do it. Um, I left it this way, um, but this would be the front. Usually, you would want a full double-sided image. So I'm just going to, with uh, my fingers and eyesight, try to line these up so that they're completely backing each other and then when I get it there I grab my hot glue gun and you will need a hot glue gun for this because the uh, Pringles, Pringles cans or the the lid and then I'm just going to press those together in that one spot and then I go through and hit it in all the areas where it won't come through because I have it, the little holes between the flowers cut out. So just so it won't seep out, I'm just putting it, of course, in the areas where there's just uh, no hole. And then I'm going to press this, get it flat because it needs to stand up. So I'm just pressing that hot glue down between there so it makes it pretty straight. As you can see, looks like it's pretty straight. And for the Pringles, the insert is three inches. I made another one today because I want to try it on top because uh, if uh, the glue, if your glue is not hot enough, then this might detach. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to try using my tape gun today to make sure as well as some hot glue to make sure that it will stay in place. So I'm just gonna go around the edges. I'm trying not to bump the camera, so I'm gonna go off to the side a little bit, but looks like it's still showing. Am I already needing a refill? Oh my goodness. I already need a refill on my tape gun. So I'm gonna just improvise because I don't feel like taking the time to stop and, and uh, do the tape gun, but just add some tape on there. And then I'm gonna also add some hot glue along with the tape just to make sure that it stays in the middle of that top and then you're just going to put it on your Pringles can and press it into place so now I have it in place and then next I just took my I'll use the wrap I'll take my wrap and what I did was I lined the wrap up with the bottom because it comes up a little um, a little underneath the top so take the top off and then I just made sure that my tab was in the back 
by folding it up a little bit so that I can take this all the way around. And it's going to be a little bit under the cap, so you want to make sure that you're being careful and watching out for that. I trimmed off the white edge on this one. So this one isn't lining up exactly, but now I made this one 9.25 and it, it fits exactly. So if you want, you can make it a little larger. I think I made the other ones a little larger so that um, it fit, it had a little overhang. So this one is not overhanging, but I'm just going to go ahead and put my hot glue along here. And then put a little bit along here to bring up the other side so that it lines up. And it overlaps a little, so it did close off my whole can. But on the other one, I had it where it was covering up this rim as well. So I'm not sure how the measurement got off because it was it was uh, covering all of that beforehand. And then you're going to take your top and put it back on just like that. Next, all I did was take the image and I just put some hot glue just right along the bottom edge. And kind of spun it off a little bit and then I just set it in the middle of the can and held it until it started to adhere so I'm just gonna hold it there a few seconds until it starts to set And you could still put, once it started to set, I put a little um, glue, a little glob of glue behind as well so that it would uh, keep it standing. Because once you put the glitter on or the confetti, it's going to keep it there as well. This one is a little more heavy, top heavy than the image I used for my sister. So it might take a little more glue and a little more time because the glue is really hot. And now you can see that it's standing up on its own and I'm just going to let it cool a little more and I'm going to work on the top the dome portion I'm moving it a little because the name was not straight so now that I have the name straight I'm gonna move that off to the side and then to make this look a little less like a, a stemless wine glass, I made a ring to go on the top. Now, the reason why I made a ring, originally I had made it solid with uh, more more writing in the middle, but it made the it made a shadow over the little image that's inside the cup. So by cutting out that center portion, the light is able to shine through and it doesn't uh, put cast a bad shadow over your image that's going to be enclosed in the cup and all I did was take this and run some hot glue just around it really quickly and then slid it over the base where the cup would sit flat I slid it over that area to try to make it look like I said a little less like a cup and more like just to de the decor decoration. All right, at this point, that's standing pretty good, but I'm gonna put a little bit more back here just to make sure. So at this point, this is where you're gonna add in your glitter. And all I did was take 
a little bit of glitter and I just poured it on there. I'll pour it from the side. I used a, a um, little teaspoon or half teaspoon to put it on there and then you could push it in so that it will be under the dome. So when we glue it on, it will be underneath. And I didn't put a lot, but I'll put a little more in here. And don't worry if you can't push that in from the side, if it leaves a little bit out. Once uh, you're done and you put your your uh, top piece on, it's going to, uh, you'll be able to blow away the excess. So now I'm just making sure that I have all my glue strings because I want it to look neat once it's in there. And then all I did was hold my little uh, container or my top off to the side, making sure that I knew where my message front was. And I just put some hot glue. I think I need to get another glue stick. I just put some hot glue all along this rim. But let me get some more glue. So I have my glue stick. I make sure to have this turned forward so I can make sure I get this on straight. And all I did was hold it sideways like this so that it wouldn't be dripping all around and just put a pretty generous pretty generous amount and then I just turned it upside down fit it over my image found the middle and once I found the middle I pressed it on a little bit and then I shook the glitter around so that it could cover up any glue that was showing inside of the tumbler or the wine the wine glass and you still have a little time to turn it if you're using hot hot glue which I recommend so I so I was able to turn it to make sure that my you'll be missed is facing forward and then all that's left to do is to add this rim around the top edge of your container so I let that cool a little bit and then I carefully took it off by pushing up on the edges with my thumbs just so I can get it up to put the the base piece on just like that Pull off any extra and then I just took this piece I found my front and put the middle tried to line up the middle as well as possible with the front and then just carried this round all the way to the back I put a little glue on this side and then pulled it tight and stuck it on and pull this side around so that I was making sure that everything was still going to be nice and straight and lined up so I let that cool just a little bit and then I did the same thing with this side put a little glue on this side pulled it all the way around till it was tight while making sure that it's staying right at that rim. And then I just held it there a little while to make sure that it adhered. Once it cooled a little bit, you're ready to put it back on your Pringles can. So I just carefully put it on the Pringles can, like so, and just pressed from the top until it snapped. And just like that, you have your decorative Pringles can. And I made the image inside three and a half inches. So that's how you make those. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. 
don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the bell if you'd like to be notified the minute I have up new tutorials. Oh, and inside there I just used, uh, I mixed up purple and gold glitter so that I could uh, match what the design was. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll see you next time.